Okay, to use LFO tool in Logic, first I'll create two software instruments. This is going to be our sound source. I'm going to use Nerve because it's easy and fun. So there's Nerve. Now what I'm going to do is just call up a sound so we have something to hear. Say I'll just make a 16th note or two hi-hat. Make them the same level. There we go. So we have that as our sound source. Now LFO tool could just be added as an insert if I wanted to. You can see I can just go audio units, extra records, LFO tool. And now we have LFO tool and it can be applied right there as an effect right onto the output. But there's no way to route MIDI in Logic to this insert as far as I'm aware. So because of that, I've made it so that you can insert LFO tool as an AU MIDI controlled effect. So the way that AU MIDI controlled effects work in Logic is it shows up like a normal instrument in this instrument slot, but because it's an instrument, there's no audio input. That's what this thing they term sidechain is for. This is how you route an audio input to LFO tool. So in order to get it there, we need to have an audio track or a bus source. Since my audio source in this case is an instrument, I need to first assign that instrument to become a bus. That way, Logic will create an aux channel. Now you'll notice it says aux1 down here, and now that will show up here, bus1. So the last step is to turn down bus1's level here because we don't want the dry anymore. We only want through LFO tool. And there you have it. We have the MIDI track to send MIDI to LFO tool, and then we have the audio coming in from the sidechain.